Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Granny and Grandpapa. What on earth is that? Hello, everyone. Wow, a talking card. Uh, who sent you? Granny Thistle. My mother. And I am here to invite you all to a magical party. Party, party. To get to the party, you'll need to catch the magic bus. Oh, dear. I'm always a bit worried when we go there. Granny's house is so full of magic. But don't you fairies like magic? Yes, but Granny and Grandpapa like dangerous magic, so their house isn't very child-friendly. That's one way of putting it. Hello! Ah! Magic in the elf tree! Shoo! You're invited to a magical party! Me? There must be some mistake. You are the wise old elf? Yes. You're invited to Granny Sissel's party. You'll need to catch the magic bus. Oh, dear. Hmm. This magic bus is very late. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you coming to Granny's party? Uh, yes. I seem to have been invited. I was at college with your Granny and Grandpapa a long, long time ago. Typical. You wait ages for a magic bus, then three come at once. All aboard! I don't like this. There's no driver. I don't need a driver. I'm a magic bus. Hold tight. Go up. Whoa. I really don't like this. Next stop, Granny and Grandpa Bus. <laughs> When we get to Granny and Grandpapa's, don't touch anything that looks magical. Yes, Mummy. Remember, Granny's magic can be a bit strong. Yes, Daddy. What about Grandpapa Thistle? Grandpapa Thistle? Oh, he's completely bonkers. Whatever you do, don't ask him about his hobbies. Grandpapa! <laughs> Last stop, Granny and Grandpapa. <laughs> Everybody off! Ooh. Wow! A castle in the clouds! Ooh. Let's ring the bell. No, Ben. Don't touch it. Don't touch anything. I'll ring the bell. Oh, it seems to be an ordinary bell this time. Usually something jumps. Ooh. Ah. I am Surpriser the Spider. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Oh, you guessed it was me. Hello, Granny. Darlings, darlings, darlings. Hello, Granny Thistle. Hello, Ben. Welcome to my party. Ah, oh, Cedric. Hello, Millicent. Come along inside, darlings. We're going to have such fun. You've got a rainbow inside your house. Yes, rainbows are so much better than stairs, unless the weather changes. Oh dear, looks like a storm is brewing. Oh, maybe you should think about getting some ordinary stairs one day, Mother. Ordinary stairs? What would be the fun in that? Or like a fairy cake? Mmm, these cakes are amazing. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Of course, they are magical fairy cakes. Mummy, why can't we have magic cakes like this? We don't need to do everything by magic, darling. Honestly, it's as if your parents think the magic will run out if they use it too much. Cedric, you're not eating. Will you have a fairy cake? Well, all right. <laughs> Whoa! I'm flying! Put me down! Oh, well, if you insist. Ah! Magic always leads to trouble. But you used to love magic. That was a long time ago. 
Thank goodness none of you could see me then. Oh, I think I've got some old pictures somewhere. Wise old elf, did you like magic? In those days, I wasn't the wise old elf. I was a foolish young elf. We had such fun. You simply adored magic. Yes, but that was before the incident of the monkey kittens. <gasps> the monkey kittens. What happened? I think I've got a picture of that too. No. Oh, well, another time. Now for the party games. Hooray! We still have to finish hide and seek from last time. We never found Grandpapa. He's been hiding for a year. Hiding? For a whole year? Yes, he does take the game very seriously. We'll find him. Leave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpapa, where are you? What's that? It's a shoe tree. Wow. <laughs> Grandpapa Thistle. Grandpapa. Swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Grandpapa, papa, papa. Grandpapa, papa, 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 papa. Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpapa. And Holly, my dear. Did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello, Victor. Cedric, old bean. This is my best friend, Ben. Delighted to meet you, Ben. Don't ask him about his hobbies. What's that? Hobbies? You want to hear about my hobbies? Uh, well... Did you know I've been doing some inventing? Yes. Last year you showed us your jam trousers. Did I? What about my custard shoes? Those too. Oh, I've taken up lots of new hobbies. Like woodwork. Sounds quite harmless. Here's a wooden chair I made. It looks surprisingly like an ordinary chair. Yes, but then I asked myself, why should a chair have legs and not be able to walk? Here, boy. It can walk. Yes, indeed. Oh! <laughs> doesn't like being sat on. No, th that's the problem with walking chairs. And also, I've been doing some gardening. Gardening? That sounds relatively safe. I asked myself, why should a tulip have leaves? Why not hands? Or even feet? And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs. I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten? Or 23. Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling. And I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? Wow! The tower's turned into a rocket. Aren't the stars beautiful? Granny. They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. Look, we're back home. And we survived the party. Thank you for landing the rocket, Cedric. My pleasure, Millicent. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Where to now? Home? No, 
Let's head to the sun and see what it's made of. Groovy. Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh. we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now... Who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> da da da, do da di da, da da la la. Da dum di da, da la la di da da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me, frog spawn. You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Morning time! <laughs> Good morning, Frog Spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh. Mummy, I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <coughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <coughs> where did this come from? <coughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <coughs> Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? 
What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, Froggies, this way. <laughs> <laughs> this is my room, and these are my toys. Crank, 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 crank. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <laughs> This one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <sighs> do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm, they do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. <laughs> Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splash. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <laughs> Shoo. Ah. <sighs> Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. Hoopla! 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 Here we are, the pond. Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? 
frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity doo dah! <laughs> <laughs>